The next test I'll do is called the anterior draw test. Anterior draw test primarily looks at the ACL integrity to check if there's some laxity, potential tear, or in some cases a, a total rupture, a grade three tear of the anterior cruciate ligament. It also assesses the medial and lateral capsule, also the archaeocomplex and the oblique ligament. So there's a lot more structures you're looking at. Lachman test, which we showed earlier, tends to be a little bit more valid for this, but sometimes you can't do a Lachman test with some patients. With this test, just like a posterior cruciate ligament test, a posterior draw test, we'll have the patient with the hip at 45 degrees, approximately the knee at approximately 90 degrees. You'll let the patient know you're gonna sit on their foot to stabilize the foot. I'll have my thumbs on the anterior superior joint line of the knee. Again, I'll oscillate, make sure the hamstrings are relaxed, so I'm not gonna get a false negative. And with this test, I'll pull from a posterior to anterior direction. A nice brisk tug with this test. You should feel a little bit of a step off in movement of the tibia, but if it's excessive, again, most research will say more than five millimeters of excursion or more, it's showing some laxity and again, a potential stretch strain, uh, sprain of the ligament or tear of the ligament. Also checking for discomfort with the patient. So again, brisk pull, anterior draw test and checking for excessive movement of the tibia, anterior translation in relation to the femur. You can get some false negative tests if the patient has a lot of guarding and they're contracting their hamstrings. If they have secondary tightness of other tissues or if they have swelling, you may assess lack of movement, but indeed they do have an anterior cruciate tear, so you need to be careful with that. As noted before, it's good to first do a posterior draw test to see if they have PCL laxity. If the person had a PCL tear and laxity, the tibia would already be sitting posterior. So that could give you a false positive test because I'd be starting posterior, pulling the tibia anterior, which gives me excessive movement, and it would give a false positive ACL tear, which indeed um, is inaccurate because it's a PCL tear. So you want to check posterior cruciate first before you do an anterior drug test or a locking test.